it's happened easy this week, right? I mean, the running, who's the running back? <laughs> what are we doing? I mean, I, I was really just up there just, you know, playing tiddlywinks. <laughs> But obviously, the, don't mention the running back as obviously a group effort. But you know, last year he didn't really hurt you in the run game, but he hurt you guys in the pass game. Um, what what do you got to do to deal with him, and are you better equipped now? But, I mean, obviously, he is a very dynamic football player and makes plays all over the field, and and he can hurt you every different way. You know, last year it, it, he obviously caught some balls on us and. and broke some tackles and, and those kinds of things. And, you know, being being going against him a couple times in, since he's been in the league, you just have to go into the whole thing just understanding where he's at and understanding that any play can turn into a big play with him. And, and you, have to, you have to be able to approach it, tackle him, get a bunch of hats to the ball. There's no such thing as a one-on-one -on -one tackle and, and go get him on the grass. Is this one of those situations where you play nickel against Alvin Kamara, then they're going to run the ball down your throat and make you try to at least stop the run or prove that you can stop the run? Is that? Uh, oh, we'll see. You know, Sean, Sean and uh, Pete Carmichael and all those guys, they do a really good job, and they can attack you a bunch of different ways with the, you know, they, their offense has a, a ton of different looks and a ton of different ways to, to be able to attack you. And, and I think that's been what has been very successful, you know, throughout both of those two guys, their their career and they you know, you gotta be ready and prepared to to face a lot of different things and, and uh if you're not, they could throw it a lot, they could run it a lot, they could do you know, they could do a lot of different things to you. So with uh, with Campbell getting there so late in the spring, mm -hmm. how would you rate just kind of his comfort level with everything, you know, heading into the well, you know, that's what training camp and all all that. We we've gotten some really really good work in with with him, and uh, you know, heading into it, we when you actually focus down a little bit more when when you have a game plan and and you kind of you don't have the entire playbook up every every single week, although you have bits and pieces of of the entire playbook. So, you know, he'll be very comfortable. I think he's in a good spot. I know he got a late start with the injury and everything, but what did Isaiah show you? You know, once he he did get on the field and obviously finishing off the way he did in Buffalo to to earn that spot on the roster. So you know he's he's obviously a guy that you, you can see he shows up on on uh, the field as a guy that's gonna he's gonna play extremely hard. He did at Boston College, um, and those those things carried over. I mean, he plays extremely hard. He throws his body around. Um, he works extremely hard in the classroom to be able to um, function at a high level on, out on the football field. And he really, really, really had to work at it because he was, you know, obviously on the shelf there at the beginning of training camp. So it was really nice to see him. It was kind of cool to see him flying around in Buffalo, his hometown and all that stuff. So. Is, uh, is Chris your every down guy or could that be, I'm not sure that's a game plan question, so if it is, just let me know. Um, or is Devon, can Devontae do that? Is there a way that you're leaning, or is that maybe a matchup or a game by game sort of thing? It'll be week by week, you know. That, and I know you guys hate when I say that, but it's true. <laughs> but it's it's true. So week by week, we'll see what happens this week. Are, are there ways you can use, you know, the three of them, Barnes, Campbell, and Orrin Burks? It's, did, did, were you happy with what you got out of Orrin? Yep. Uh, you know, there's. You know, there's there's a bunch of way, different ways that we can, you know, round out the eleven out there. So yeah, there there there's a there's there's a bunch of different ways that we could get that done. And you know, Warren's done a lot of different things for us in the past. So.